Bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round. Welcome to the bonus round. Hey. Oh. So this is the stuff that doesn't get released. It gets released about a, uh, about a week later. Okay, very cool. All the questions that we didn't. We actually just play Texas Hold'em poker. I'm into that. Texas Hold'em strip poker. It gets weird. Yeah, it, it gets weird on get a the podcast. Vi- bonus yeah, get the bonus footage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still love you, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, don't disown me. God, I, I'm that, reliving okay, an real old quick. nostalgic horror. I don't want to sniff it. It's Are you fish. sure? Is it fish? Fish, dude, smell it. Fuck, that's awful. Oh my god. <laughs> it smells like fish. That's so awful. It's very terrifying. So now that we're in the bonus round, um, it's a bunch of BS. Can I go give this to your wife real quick? Well, I'm gonna. I'd love for her to come out and grab that because she wants to let the dog out. Ooh, so the I'm like, dog, dog, whoo. Yep. Ooh, so ooh, let's ooh. just let him out. This is the bonus round. This yeah. is the stuff that. Let's go. Come matter. on, Cosmo. Cosmo, by the way, loves carrots. So if anyone wants to get them yes, carrots, if anybody wants let to, I will put them on my Amazon wish list. Carrots <laughs> um, Fresh ca- from he, Sprouts because you can have them delivered. He Amazon loves Fresh loves carrots and mangoes. <laughs> throwback to New Trippers. Oh, this is uh, the New Tripper throwback. Oh, well, I have I have like five cans of that in my fridge. It's can dangerous. I, can I try it? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's dangerous. Oh, I know. Yeah. I drank one what last is night. It? It's a triple IPA. It's a Northeastern triple. It's ten point one percent. Oh, it's yeah. it's delicious. I bought a few four packs. Super, today. super juicy. Really aromatic. It's Wait just, a minute. It's the Northeastern, though. Why is that good? Do you not like the bitterness on most IPAs? I don't like the back of the throat mm-hmm. in the IPAs. That one doesn't have it. Yeah, so most of the time, uh, West Coast yeasts will really carry a heavy amount of bitterness on them. Northeastern yeast, and specific, particularly how you let it sit. While it's fermenting it in the bright tank, it just really cuts down on the bitterness, and it just that's the finishes what, are always so I'm, smooth. Isn't that weird? I'm not a bitter that's person. That's why I like West Coast. That yeah. was I like the what, I like West Coast well. isn't bitter. West Coast it is, is a little bitter. bit more. It's bitter. bitter. So the ones yeah. okay. Northeasters are getting more known for being smooth and juicy and hazy. A little sweeter. That's, that's a little sweeter. That was yeah. I. That's what a lot of I found that I had a. Um, it was an, I forgot the brewery, but it's an Elko brewery, and they had one where it was like a. It's supposed to kind of tastes like weed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, no. I, I know. Yeah, Sips and Pass, which is a, like it a smells like beer. Smells like yeah. weed. Yeah, it wasn't it Sips really and Pass, but I forgot what it was called. No, it really does. I had to be honest. But other. it tasted like weed, and I was like, wow. That's weed. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was because I'm not an IPA person, yeah. but that one was phenomenal. I like that. Yeah. Phenomenal. Next podcast, I'll bring you some Sips and Pass. You Please try. do, sir. I love I it. I just know during our bonus round, uh, we're a lot less structured, so okay. you, we have a dog running around, yep, so you might Cosmo hear him barking. bark. I'm he trying might. to get my wife's <laughs> attention so she'd come out here and drink a shot of Patron. Wife, come drink. But a, every shot of Patron. Oh. There's a shot of Patron. Oh. Wife, sitting right here for <laughs> you. It's a Cosmo drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmo getting Cosmo lit. Get <laughs> She, she get carry drunk. I brought Patron, so that one's for you, my darling. Cheers, cheers, my love. Next time, I'll bring you Jameson. Oh, oh, known. damn, I she t- damn, damn, she takes it like a goddamn champ. She's just like, this is a this is sippy mine. cup. Yeah, she's I'm like, gonna buy you a sippy cup and some. Jameson. I gotta live with Scooter, so <laughs> I need to drink. That's why heavily. the Patron comes in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we? Should we actually do things now? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Will you just answer all the questions now? Yeah, lightning yeah. round. It's all basically all the questions that. Didn't get answered. Oh, so yeah. we, we'd like to keep it decently random. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, let's do it in that. We'll do level one first. Man, these are these are cool cards. Man. They're really just there's a magic card inside of there. Is it really? And I printed yeah. These. Oh, All right. That's awesome. I'm actually gonna like, probably because we're and in I the didn't bonus even print them in color because we're, because we're in the bonus color. round. I'll probably see which magic card it is. That's funny. If it's the black lotus, I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh, Do you psh. have like a mint black lotus God, in right. there somewhere? That, yeah. How awkward would that be? That'd it's be like so black awkward. lotus. Oh, you scared me. All right, right, go ahead, dear. Oh, I will start. Circle or square? Uh, probably a square for sure. All right. Um, sharp oh, yeah. edges. Yeah, sharp. Defined. Clean. Symmetry. I'm I can I'm circle away. and square. I'm both. Yeah. Because I feel like the same way when I'm building something, it's got to have that structure to it. But circles to me. Like, well, circles can define. Whoa, they can also define the universe. Yeah, kind yeah. of thing. You fold. I, you don't have no idea when I. He's talking to the dog. No, I was talking to Scooter. No, uh, the Scooter's <laughs> hella cute, but, uh, bro. I was literally talking about a circle last night and how 
that could be time and you're bending it in half and oh, creating. Oh, yeah, yeah. And my wife is so gracious yeah. when she's she looks like, at me and is like, oh. I I yeah. love like, you. Oh. <laughs> but. <laughs> but you, no. <laughs> but, okay. But yeah, right. I, think I'm, I think I'm square for sure. All right, square. All right, so this is a clue token um, for the magic people. Uh, do aliens exist? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they have to, right, with how big the universe is? There has, that, that there's someone out there, man. I mean, not to, not to be X-Files about it. It's astronomical. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <So> like that? <laughs> it's just, there, I mean, I, I feel yeah. like I feel like we're doing a disservice to the size of the universe. Oh, there's, yeah. There's, I mean, if, if we're here, they, someone else has got to do that. There you go. Yeah, how yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. We're too small for that. All right. <clears throat> what is something that every that everyone looks stupid for? <laughs> Man, Truffle Shuffle probably is up there. <laughs> I imagine the Truffle Shuffle. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, for sure. I, you know, that I, a lot of dance moves come to mind. Like, you know, unless well, you really have mastered well, the, the, the floss. The floss, the floss, and what's the other one where dabbing. it's like the, everyone looks dumb dabbing? The one where you like throw one of your knees up and you throw your arm. Oh, back the, sh- the, sh- the one where yeah. you're just like I it's know, it's all right Fortnite shit, right? Yeah. yeah Which, Fortnite. by the way, uh, PUBG is superior to Fortnite. PUBG. Real quick, it's Fortnite's a real. We want ma- to put that as a question, but For- PUBG is the one. People could get Pub- angry. PUBG yeah. is a real man sport. PUBG's Just gonna. I have be a that place person. in my heart for Fortnite uh, because, I don't. well, because I'm an <laughs> no, Unreal I'm tournament same with guy. This one. Oh, dude, UT. I, UT so 2000. I, have I grew up in. like playing Unreal tournament. Yeah. Oh. Like before 2000, it was like the Unreal tournament. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Before the buggies with the, sheep, the mm-hmm. sabers that mm-hmm. came out, yeah, um, you just run around and give it, man. Yeah, so um, sick. So when Fortnite came out, it still it still has that classic feel that speed, of Unreal. That yeah, that, yeah. So what building, man. What the hell? Is yeah, that building. No, the building <laughs> thing is what throws me off. I'm like, I, I don't want to do this shit really right now. Anything. I don't want to shoot your dumb stairs that are yeah, 80 feet in the your sky. Stair, like, like at that I point, do that. at that point, I just like seppuku and be like, bye. Yeah, like, see you later, dude. I ain't got time for this. I'm playing Sudoku. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh yeah. my god, PUBG right. for sure. That's a good question. That's, I like that question. Though, so, okay, maybe yeah. we should add that question. Because I Wait, do, do we you think, are you worried that people won't be at that level of like PUBG or Fortnite or like what? Some I uh, just don't want people to like, fist fight. Well, fist might fight, be probably. both. Yeah. Might be both, but some people might actually not play. Mm, yeah. You know, it's like yeah. I feel like it might not. It might be for certain people. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> what boring sport? What is the most boring sport, and how would you fix it? So I, I really am a guy who, who enjoys hockey. Hockey is, is probably the only sport I can get into at this point. Um, I really am not a basketball guy in, for any reason. Like no, Not even in the finals, not even in the playoffs. I just I can't get into basketball whatsoever. If I could fix it, uh, everyone would be on my platform or like stiletto heels or something. And just somebody that would make their feet less stable. I, I would say roller skates. Maybe we can do it on ice. Or just like... Like, you know how a um, you go bowling? Yeah. And you know oh, when you yeah. hit Shooter, that line yeah. where it's all greased yeah, yeah, up? Yeah, that'd be it's sick. like, why don't you make the basketball court like all Greasy? slicked up? That's better. Oh, I was like, no. yeah. There'd be I a was lot just, of when you said that, I was like, stilettos. I was like, well, that, I mean, you could really like bust an ankle. I mean, well, I mean you people could bust do an it. ankle doing that too. Imagine trying oh, to break somebody in that. Yeah. But you wouldn't have so much flopping. Yeah. You'd actually get real concussions. Yeah. Okay. This is a real side question. Do you own a Pixel 2? Right yeah. Bro, I've never met anyone else to own a, another Pixel Team 2. Pixel. This one, bro. Team yeah, Pixel. I love my Pixel. This is the best phone I've ever owned. It's, I didn't think I could care about a phone until I got a Pixel. Right, man. I didn't think I cared about I felt phones. the same way. It's such a good phone. All right, sorry. That's very no, random. No, you piqued my interest. Dude, Pixel 2, if They're you sick. are lo- in the market for a new phone, really Pixel cool. 2, it kind of merges Android and Apple to give you the best of both worlds. it just oh. does everything correctly. Oh, absolutely. I not, Pixel I'm 2. I'm always looking at new phones. Uh, that. Okay. Pixel, Pixel 3 is about to get announced, though, so if you're really Ooh. interested, just wait for 3. If you want to save money, though. Yeah, for real. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Pixel the way 2. my bank account works. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it work, we're we're getting the Pixel I negative I'm, I'm still making one. payments on three phones that we have yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll okay. do it. Oh I, was like, I think in the, in, on, on our plan, we have five phones. Yeah. I was like, that's well, you know, that's when about, you decide to procreate. That's like that's five, five yeah. too many phones. 
When I was 18, I asked my mom. She asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I told her I wanted a vasectomy. But she didn't. That's <laughs> didn't happen. I'm 26, I still don't have mom. one. Mom! Oh, but I'm waiting. I, I still I got one. I got, mom! My, I got mine done in my 20s. Did you? People uh, always say that I'm crazy for it. I'm like, man, but it... But I had two kids at the time. Uh, so I, I had two two girls, and, and I I was like, okay, I'm... I'm good. Sh- turn the valve off. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Bye. You know. Shut the valve off. I now have five team. kids. I mean... Yeah, that's, five that are it's my the kids. Kinda, it's the kind of like I don't have anything, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah it's like oh, oh, good? Shit. I was like, it's not going to hurt me, you know. In the future, yeah. it's like okay. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> what's the best or worst practical joke that you've played on someone, <laughs> or that was played on you? Oh, that's pretty funny. Um, the worst man. One I actually feel like bad about is in high school, my freshman year. I used to. Uh, go into the bathrooms and underneath the knobs on the seats I would fold over like a piece of like a mustard packet so that when somebody would sit down on it it would explode on the back of their legs that's fucked up it's super (laughs) fucked up it's the worst (laughs) practical joke ever and I still feel bad to how many like to doing it to this day why man that fucking sucks but like, it's not like you impaled someone. I, but it's you impaled someone in, with mustard. mustard Have you ever gotten them. mustard out of a clothing you don't. article? It doesn't get out of your clothes. It's Pants there. Ruined. Yeah, like, no, it's like, bye. And we would just snicker, like, at, on the bench, like, right outside the bathroom. <laughs> when people <laughs> would go out and they'd have mustard Say, on their hi, pants. you have mustard. Like, ha, ha, gotcha. You didn't think, ha, ha, that clothes. That yeah, cloth like, is oh, ruined. your parents are buying you new pants now because that's I a was good a point. dick. Like, yeah. That's a good point. I, to this day, feel awful. Like, I tell that story, and I'm like, fuck, that's <laughs> I mustard spurted everywhere. I I'm did. sorry. <laughs> that was the worst. Oh, oh man. Dude. To this day, my That's mom good. and I. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was, it was a pretty intense joke. But my mom and I, to this day, always go out of our way to uh, to scare each other I whenever say, I see her. Oh, for a second, I thought you were like, to put mustard on no, the seats. No, no. I'm I like, wow. That's... Anymore. That was, an, that was another thing. That was Woo! one time. Yeah, it was one time, once. and then I got the shit beat out of me. Once was, again, like, mom, real MVP. What's, mom? what's your mom's name? Christina. Christina, yeah. you the real. Love you, Christina. Every time you try and do that, she's like, I've seen you fucking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I saw the real Just dirty. remember. Oh, it's so traumatic. Uh, <laughs> Just you remember. Will your mom listen to this? Uh, if I send her the link, absolutely. Well, Ma- Christina, watch out. Yeah, yes. watch out, Mom. My bad. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Is it me again? I, I don't. How many you start got? shooting them. I have four. Oh, I got two. What the oh, fuck? definitely you. Yeah, he's, he- he's heavy. All right, so what's he's your favorite toe? Like, man, I really feel like the big toe is just the tank of the party. Like he really takes the damage for everyone. I else, appreciate which is nice. how you don't find this weird. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, <laughs> I would either say that or <laughs> the the no, the, is, the head out of what the fuck? He stayed up at night. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, oh, there you go. This yeah, is a common conversation. I feel like the big toe is like the tank. I, I could also get behind uh, the pinky. I could go for the out the outliers. The, out, the man yeah. that kind of just does the stuff. He's kind of underappreciated, but he, especially on my foot, he really can separate himself. Like oh, wow. Really can, yeah, and I like that I about my toes for some reason. I think it's cool. I think you're probably climbing trees with your feet. I guess <laughs> you could Lemur-esque. do that. esque <laughs> Yeah, I was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah big so toe cool. or, or, or baby toe. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Oh, you're, you're giving me one you already, you already asked, silly. Which one? I'll answer the sport one. All right. <laughs> Shit. What mythical creature yeah. would improve the world most if it existed? Oh, wow. That's that's a really good question, actually. Um, wow. That's a that's a really good one, man. I feel like well, griffins, probably, because they're rideable. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that are rideable. But, I mean, it, on that scale? like on, on a You're talking about something scale? that's intelligent. Like, an intelligent Yeah, being, like, like an intelligent, rideable, flying being. See, I would... Dragons, but I not mean, that you I don't. Tra- I don't. You gotta train I, the team. I believe I in your opinion. I just. I feel like if you're an in, an intelligent being, yeah, that can fly. Are you really gonna let people ride on you? I mean, if your guys are buddies, right? Well, that's a good. I point. give people rides in my car. I, 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 I give them a piggyback ride. Just We've done same. that on like bicycles. Yeah, bicycles. right. I, if, if they were my buddy and they wanted to fly around, I'd be like, yeah, top on my back, homie. I'll help you out. I'll get you to where you want to go. Griffin is cool. Griffin and griffins are damn cool. I, you know, Griffin, uh, Griffin would be there. I think with a little more thought, my mythical creature bank is pretty pretty big, and I, I, I think I could come up with with something I maybe like more. But Griffin, I feel like is really solid. That is really solid. I would li- I would not mind hopping on the back of a Griffin and you know going wherever. He's always thinking. I, w- I always think of like uh, something. I mean, of course, it always default to D and D. Yeah, yeah. I was like, 
not the evil. I mean, there's a lot of evil characters yeah. that I really love to exist, but not in their evil ways. Yeah, but yeah. like as an actual creature, because I don't. I honestly feel deep down that not you can't have something that's just 100 percent evil. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah. you know, give me an so, example. Like, what would you? A beholder. You? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. How cool is that? That'd be pretty fucking sick. Beholder, fuck. I mean, mind flayers. What about like a really cool like sea hag or something that yeah. just wasn't so evil? What about displacer? You like see a sea hag and you're like, dude, you're dope as fuck. Want a party? Yes, something? I was trying yeah. to say that. I was like a displacer beast. I was like, mm-hmm. they they don't actually like. It's just they fuck with your vision. Yeah. They just mm-hmm. like you see me. No, would that don't. better? I'm kind of over here. What if? What if? I think so because yeah. it would put yourself in perspective. Oh, I guess that. Yeah, good. Yeah, like you'd good. be like, I am not the shit. Yeah, man, Cthulhu would be pretty. cool. Because we need, well, yeah. Because I think, I think as a society, we need to be put in check. Okay, Apollo, We're, you're, Whoa, you're dominating me right now. Whoa, now, <laughs> you're like, you're Captain, the dominating right now. No, but really, I was like, we we think as humans that we are like top the of the shit. food chain, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, no. Yeah. I was like, I feel like we need something in our face telling you. A beholder says hi. You don't feel like you're the top of the food chain. Anymore. Yeah, I was like, yeah. and and they don't destroy you. They don't take over the world. They yeah. just kind of go. You know, you're not all that. Yeah. And I, I'm here, and that means you're not all that. Yeah. I was yeah. like, we've existed for Wait, whatever. Wait, Displacer Beats is a cool thought. That's a, that's a pretty Just cool Just kind of go, you can't hunt me. Yeah. Like you hunt everything else. You can't hunt me. It doesn't no. work that way. No. Yeah. It's just they're just like uh, just uh, to, uh. just to put you in check. That's cool. I like the displacer beast answer. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. one. Beholder's really cool too. Although all a little terrifying. very scary. Yeah. Oh, dude, it was like <laughs> Big Brother to mm. the to Can you the extreme. If a beholder was in front of you. Like, you, you just, just like, like you just yeah. like all right, all right, honey, I'm off to work. Open the door. Beholder. Fuck. <laughs> and you just like I get that way. You're like with drones. All right, honey, <laughs> not going to work. Not There's staying in today. Snow day. Snow day. Who wants to play Uno? Funny. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, what's your pet peeve word? Obnoxious. That's obnoxious of you. Pant- <laughs> no, actually, oh, that word isn't. Even. It's a weird word. I don't like panties. Because pa- every time you say it, you have to I be mean, like. It's worse every time you say it. Yeah, it's you're like. like pant- like it, it melts off you and not in a good way. Yeah, I it's like it's like the worst kind of like uh, unnatural cheese. Yeah. That actual like, word pant- came up in a conversation. Panties? Last night, really, with my wife, and, and it you wasn't feel like, weird about it or were you just like no, it was just like we were trying to discuss the word, yeah, like no, certain it's, words. It's kind of like, like when you say pan, you're like pan, tease, pan, tease. Pan? I have a problem with, yeah. but it really did. We were talking about it. Yeah. It had to do with the relationship of bottom clothing and top clothing. Oh, I was yeah. like, how it makes no sense. Well, no. why is it pants? <laughs> Why is it shorts? Yeah. But it's just mm-hmm. shirt. Shirts. 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 A shirt has a shirt has more holes. Yeah. Why is it singular? Yeah. But on on that, <laughs> my we like, need more words. We have Panties. strange conversations. Well, I have them. And I, <laughs> no, I no, I'm in to you. It's but gone. no, um, one of my it's not a pet peeve. I have a lot of pet peeve words, and I think if you, you listen, if you listen to this podcast, I was like. It's not pet peeve like, oh my god, just shut up. Oh, yeah. It's just like there's certain things. You don't like being like, said. Like acts. Um, oh, like, like acts you something? Yeah. Oh, okay. that, those kind of things kind of, they, those yeah, kind yeah, of bother yeah. me. But, mm-hmm. Or turd. But I mean, is that really, is that really like a, a word though? Because it's the same mm-hmm. word, it's just mispronunciations, right? It, like, to a point. It's, it's still like, really? Bad? But isn't yeah. that, our, that's American English See? language is everything mispronounced and then it becomes a word? Yeah, I, I was going to, and also, I, I, you can really argue if it is a mispronunciation in the first place. Yep. It's just, yeah, it, that's it. I see you, though. I yeah, get you. So, I get you. But really, one of the, and it's not a pet peeve, but it's one of those words is like, if you say it too many, it, too many times, kind of like panties. Panties. It's like oh, the word any. A N Y. Any. 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 You know, you can start a song with. Are like, you okay? Any. Yeah, I was going to say, any, are you okay? No, but seriously, any, are A-N-Y. you okay? Are you okay, any? <laughs> right? I mean, it's like that word, to me, also, it was like, it's such a strange word. Yeah. If you say it by itself, yeah. if you put it in a, in a phrase, it's but, by itself. But if you end it with, are you okay? I feel like. You are okay. Yeah, I think I Michael Jackson think about Annie. fixed that for and, us. Yeah, and then and you also rest think peace, if they... Yeah, rest in peace, my dude. Yeah, you, the king of pop. Yeah, you always think, are you okay? Are you okay? You never Annie. know. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I hated being called obnoxious when I was younger. Yeah, I was, it, don't be obnoxious. Yeah, and it because I really was. And, that, and that's, I think that's why it bothered me so much. <laughs> and you're just like, damn, I am obnoxious. obnoxious. Fuck. 
I, I work with kids so at, on, at schools and, and stuff like that, so I think I might create that problem with them. But the word is shady. Sh- Ooh. Ooh. Because I always go, you need to stop acting shady. <laughs> no, I was like, you know that like that little demeanor yeah, of yeah. like you act a little shady. You're you're not really doing anything wrong, but you just drew a lot of attention yeah, to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just don't you're act shady. shady. Yeah. It's like we have this conversation of don't break the law while breaking the law. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. It's like you're yeah, just don't draw attention to yourself. Don't uh, do anything that would yeah. bug anybody else. Annie. Any. Annie, Annie, are you okay? How do you say Annie? Any? I yeah. say any. Any? See, are you there's any? My Mon- there's my Montana. Do you any? know any anybody? Any anybody? Any? Any? I say I, I probably have. That's my twang. Any? Anybody. Any Audi? Any? Any Audi? Any? <laughs> See, it's like okay. Is it your question? Is it me? Panties. All right. All right. So pa- panties. Pa- panties. Yeah, panties. <laughs> Used to be moist. Tell me. Yeah, moist. But that one doesn't bother me. No, because I mean, I, I, I grew up with Betty Crocker. It now. said moist. Yeah, moist. Like, come on. I want the moist, moist pancakes. Then cakes means but something else too. I but. don't like when you say mis- moist panties. That's moist not okay. Panties. <laughs> that's uh, that's one of those things where like moist that's panties. unfortunate. Let's move on. It was on. 105 today. It, the panties so were moist. It's yeah. just science. My panties are moist. <laughs> it's just science. <laughs> it's like ooh, panties moist. <laughs> All right. So inside of shattered broken glass, which I'm surprised you use this. No, it's a shitty ass card. I just, I just grabbed commons. I, and I feel you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, favorite children's animated film. Uh, we are judging you for this one. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, that's um, that, that's that's a difficult one because I, I think I have. I, I, this is probably going more in depth than I need to be, but I, it, it, I have different answers for different times in my life. I think. I think I have like a ch- favorite childhood animated movie, well, a favorite adult animated. I would, movie. I would do current. Yeah, do current. Man, that's good. <sighs> I, I, I recently, I know I'm kind of late to the boat, but I, I think two or three years ago, I really discovered the, the Studio Ghibli movies. Um, it took Second me a time, long time oh. to get into those. I, I have a lot of friends who loved them, and I just kind of put them off. And I watched Spirited Away for the first time, and that was really good. Oh. I watched Pocoroso, and that was really awesome. Um, I watched Kiki's, wow. which was really cool. I really liked Ponyo. Um, my Totoro was really cool. I think I, was the the people around me kind of overhyped it a little bit. Yes. But I, I loved the characters in Totoro. If I had to pick one, the Studio Ghibli movies were really cool in my adult yes. life. Um, and it's, I think it's because I didn't watch them as a kid. And so I looked at the, the artwork was incredible. The, like, all the people who voice acted the characters were really cool. Mm. Um, if I had to pick one, I think Kiki or Spirited Away would be up there. Um, Those wow. are literally... I don't know if I would, which one I would choose, but it's Kiki or, or Spirited Away. Those are probably in my. Those are in my top five, yeah. maybe yeah, even three. Yeah, it's a whole different lens. Yeah, yeah. Those movies are incredible, man. Yeah. And you watch so them cool. and you're like, really? Why? Yeah, you get entranced, and not very. Yeah. There's not very many pieces of media that I can consume and feel truly engrossed mm-hmm. in. That. It's like mm-hmm. video games if they're really good. Absolutely. Uh, and, but movies are hard. Like it, movies are hard for me they to get are, yeah. really, really engrossed into. Um, but I think those those studio movies, that, 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 wow. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, so. Are you super into studio Ghibli? Not not super into yeah. Spirit Away. Okay. Like, I was like I'm gonna long. throw. Yeah. I own a few on DVD. I'll throw them at you. Yeah. They're you cool. need to that watch them. Be, that could be a format. My my fa- <laughs> my favorite one of them I kid you not. is Kiki because Kiki's cool. Because I watched that when I was very young, yeah. and that kind of curved how my career is going. Yeah. <laughs> so you might want to watch that because it's pretty oh, I'll watch sick, it. bro. Kiki's cool. Kiki's really cool. Witch- witches and bread. Hey. Yeah. I mean, the easiest way to, for me is just send me a link or yeah. just send me a name, and I'll find it. I'll be. What is it? Uh, nothing. Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> Pay your subscriptions. <laughs> yeah. uh, th- Pay a lot your of dues. a lot of good stuff that I've been I've been checking out VRV. Don't pirate yeah. things. They've Don't been, go they've, on VRV's pirate been, Bay. Yeah, but VRV has been putting out some decent mm-hmm. like rips. And, yeah, yeah, yeah some good stuff out there. So yeah. I've been right. kind of into that. So but yeah, those are really nice. <laughs> wow. Well. There's some of the ones that I'm. I mean. Yeah, check them out. Little Mermaid was check like them out. just it was a defining. Yeah, what's the Little Mermaid thing? It's a defining moment in my life because it was like what ninety <laughs> six. Yeah. What's the Little Mermaid? That, thing? No, it was before that. It was the Little Mermaid it was thing is fantastic. That my daughter was born in ninety three. Okay. And it was just kind of one of those like movies. 
fight for you. It was like, oh, I got own, you. I got you. you. Know, for your, yeah. I was a young guy, um, and my wife at the time was young, mm-hmm. um, and I feel like you'd just be in the like delivery room, being like, "Fuck yeah, Ariel!" <laughs> oh, there was. Is your daughter's name Ariel? Oh yeah. Oh no shit. That's okay. The, like yeah. there's there was no question of wow. Who that's awesome. Ariel, twenty five. Number one listener no, of no podcast. Joke. What's up, girl? Oh, she What's does. Up, she <laughs> does. She is one of our biggest fans of That's the podcast. Awesome. But, and then, I mean, just I'm, I'm a super fan of certain things when I watch them. Got and you. my, my yeah. other daughter, who's 22 now, um, she, yeah, her name is Bailey because we were a huge fan of Party of Five. Oh, oh my god! Just gosh. kidding. Okay, I went there too in my mind. So, yeah, that's what's like. Yeah, but it was it was Party it's like, Five. Oh, car bombs. A lot bombs, of white Russians. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but that was a, that was there was a same a similar premise of that show because it was their parents died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the kids had to kind of like they were young and they had to take care of themselves. They had to get on it's with life. Super on their hokey. Shows. Yeah. Both the movie and the show. Yeah, yeah. But the idea behind it, I don't look for amazing acting. Yeah. I don't look for amazing artwork or direction. But uh, I like storytellers. I got you. Mm-hmm. So yeah. people who lay down a damn good story, even though the actors and writers, the other people might fuck the whole thing up. <laughs> the story makes sense. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's good. So when you said like Spirited Away and that that studio, I was like, oh, okay. That, there's they're some, storytellers, There's man. thick. Yeah. There's good, deep, you gotta have a brain turned uh, on uh, to figure this shit out. So, they're yeah. beautiful movies, man. They're, they're those, like when people say like filmmaking is a piece of art, like that, that's shit some art. Like that those, is some real art. Kiki's Delivery Service is my favorite, but Spirit, Spirited Away is, you watch it and you're like, holy fuck. Oh, Spirited was, like, I, I think I watched oh. that for the first time last year, and it was just, oh my god. The whole time, your hands on face going, what? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I mean, we could have, who knows, we might spawn something out of that. Um, So, what would you like your hometown to be? What would I like my hometown to be? Yes. Man, um, I mean, to be to be totally honest, I, I really did like Antioch, even though it is kind of a, truthfully, it's a kind of a shithole of a town. Uh, it, it's like one of the highest crime rates in California, like alongside the Oaklands and the Richmonds right. and, the, and, you know, the more notable down south ones. But, you know, I really have a really awesome outlook on life because of Antioch. And, I mean, but at the same time, my mother was from Mexico and she... I, I've been to Mexico a few times and I've seen all the awesome cities and the senses of community that they have down there, which is incredible. I really like Oregon. I really like Washington. I really like going up north and being in the cold and being in the trees. And it, it, but I don't think I would change Antioch. I don't. I don't think if I could go anywhere else to start my life, I would. I could. End, I, I'd be down to end it somewhere else. <laughs> I'd be down to end right. my life yep. in, in an Oregon, in a Washington, mm-hmm. in a, you know, in a Canada, and whatever. Uh, but I, I, I think I'm. I think I'm happy with where. I, I don't think I would change it at all because I, I I'm into it. perspective. Yeah, yeah. right. I, w- I would. I would not even be anything near what I am if, if Antioch didn't have what Antioch had when I was growing up. I would not be anything near me now if Antioch didn't. Have and if I grew up in Puyallup, like we were talking about, <laughs> right. right? If, we if grew, you, if if you know what that Puyallup, is, Washington, watch I Carly. Yeah, right. I- <laughs> it is mentioned and they mispronounce it. Multiple <laughs> times. Absolutely. I think they call it Puyallup. Yeah, yeah. it's Puyallup. Yeah. It's, it's really bad. It's Puyallup. Yeah, Puyallup. If I grew up in a rural Puyallup, I imagine I would be so much different than I am. I, I don't want to be. I, I like what Antioch did as a child. There you go. So, I love All that. Right. I was That's like, because I have. Phenomenal, I have, I mean, man. Because yeah. I used to have, growing up, like, had a little bit of resentment that I was. Um, my early years were spent in Montana. Yeah, yeah. And kind of going like, there's some strange belief systems. Oh, yeah. Um, and even as a young child, I was like, that's not right. So as soon as I became an adult and could get out of there, mm-hmm. I, I left, you know, not probably the best way you yeah. would leave, you know, I picked a wife and we left and, and had a out. kid and, yeah, yeah. you know it was like which was great because I have some of the coolest kids that's awesome I've ever known it like such I would hang, as I would hang out with them <laughs> I was hang, I would hang out with any of my children right yeah, now yeah. I was like I would just 
If hey, I was their age, are they here? Where, oh. I have three kids here, and then I have um, Ariel and Bailey are in the Northwest. They're awesome. still up in north of Seattle, and they're all my kids are like people that they're cool to they're hang cool out people. with. Is, isn't it age? cool when you have cool people? I was like, you are cool. You're I like, made you a cool person. You're like, <laughs> fuck yeah, I did it. You are cool. That's like, awesome. I was like, I want to hang out with you. Yeah, that's really uh, awesome. But yeah, I think if. I think Montana gave me a perspective too, yeah. because it gave me that perspective of like how. Oh, and I, it's, it, I don't want to speak negatively of Montana because it's a beautiful place, but that they are small-minded, yeah. and and that's not of their doing. It's mm-hmm. and it's not of their choice. It's just that's that's, that's all Montana. they know. That's it's like, it. and yeah. why would you want to leave them? Yeah, I was like, yeah. if you're. If you're cool with hanging out and doing the stuff that you're doing in Montana, what it takes, why would you? Yep. Why would you move? Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't. I'm a different spirit. I was like, you I want to go somewhere explore. else. Or yeah, I want to do things. stuff. I want to experience the world, yeah. and yeah, it's such things. a big place. And yeah. So yeah, yeah perspective of perspective. Always right? perspective. That was though. great. I want to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Sacramento awesome. should be really great in the last two years. Heck yeah, man. Sacramento was pretty damn cool. You got some weird stuff. Yeah, and I didn't even know that. I had to go looking. Yeah, for weird yeah, stuff. You yeah. Have to, yeah, it's weird because you're like, oh, this is normal shit. Well, because it's a capital, you know, so I was sitting there like, oh, all the capital stuff. Because, I yeah. mean, I, I lived in Olympia, Washington for yeah. a while, too. And there's a lot of capital. Just, yeah. I think, feel like every capital has capital stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Capitally business. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, this is too capitally. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but you, you get into the outskirts and get into the meat, into the inside of it. It's it's a beautiful. It's it cool. actually is a really beautiful it's place. Washington's awesome, man. I, I think if I had somewhere to die, I would die in Washington. I feel like yeah. this yeah. whole, if you go I'm upwards doing it in Europe. from California. You're dying in Europe. Up, somewhere. It's okay. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like you're it, doing okay on the Yeah. On anywhere the, else, the I'm just like, mm, Yeah. Wait a Tsunami. minute. Tsunami. Yeah, it's like, mm. yeah. <laughs> It's like, you literally live on Tornado Alley. Yeah. Do you really want to live on somewhere yeah, called it's, Tornado Alley? it's not Alley? a cool street name. It's yeah, like, right? it's <laughs> not just like, dude, I live on Tornado Alley. Yeah, Check like, no. it. No. Nah, no. man. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest is, is pretty special. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool place. It's pretty chill. And pretty you, cool I mean, part of the world. Yeah. You gotta be able to, I mean, it, it does rain. <laughs> it, I mean. Ooh, it, and when it rain, it pours. Yeah, pours. for like nine, ten months. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean just, just that's the way it is. Yeah. So I love it. I, I love that area, and I love, I'm, I spent many years in Tacoma. And Tacoma's cool. People have yes. some, it has a bad history. Yeah. Uh, crime and all, but. The new Tacoma is something it's nice. Up and, and it's coming diverse, Tacoma people. And it's, cool. Yeah. It's got a lot of art. It's, yeah. it's got a lot the of Tacoma, food. Washington is more diverse than Portland or Oh, yeah. Portland was such a Portland's such a trip. I went for the first time uh, Portland, two summers ago. It the was a trip. Breweries are pretty great. Yeah. But are cool. the people very white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just like it's not very diverse in Portland. It's very no, true. No, but the, the food's pretty great. I had fried chicken the size of my head. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I was like, dude, yeah, fried yeah. chicken. I'm into it. No, I, I agree. With, I, I, I spent some time in Portland, and my best man at my wedding is uh-huh. from Portland. Oh, yeah. Um, Portlandese. Yeah, so. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I hometown-wise, I was like, mm-hmm. I feel like I, I was born and kind of raised in Montana. Yeah. But really the the Northwest, because yeah. I moved out there pretty young with kids. And, I mean, um, both my kids, yeah. you know, are kind of, well, my second kid is born in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. And I feel like that became my hometown in mm-hmm. a sense, because I moved out there very I mean, you Didn't feel attached late to Montana teens. when you were there. And yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm okay with not being in Here. Montana. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, awesome. Right. Well, thanks, man. Hey, man. man. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Thanks That's for killing the, the bonus round. Yeah, we're That's just all chilling the now. We're, we're, yeah, we're just... This casual. is bonus round, and this will be... Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is what we <laughs> well, do. When are we releasing this sucker so I can send it to I Christina? I love you, Mom. I don't know. We'll Mom, we'll real MVP, Christina. <laughs> hey. I'll, I'll stalk around the social media that you want to get rid of. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I really wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't mind. All right. So. Thanks, it was man. nice chill yeah, with everyone. Thank you so much for coming over, dude. Thank you. Thank you. means a lot. Thanks for the burp. Yeah, the there's, a, there's more where it <laughs> came from. So. I know, right? And I right. will be there. I don't know if I'll be there Friday. I don't know what the release, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure. All right, don't uh, announce it because we don't know. Toodles. Right. Bye bye.